Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and for today's Tableau tutorial, what I want to cover is how you can remove unwanted values uh, from your filters. So, for instance, I've got a worksheet here where we are looking at uh, sales by category and year. So you can see here's my 2019 sales, my 2020 sales, you can see it broken out by furniture and office supplies. Um, but we have this null column, right? So if there was no date associated with the value, I probably don't want it showing up. So I could just exclude the null. And there's kind of two ways of doing that. I've already preloaded a year of date filter, so I could just unselect it. Um, or I think there's maybe another alternative is if I right clicked and excluded, it would do a crossing out the null option. Regardless, I'm in a bit of a pickle here because if I show a list, it's still gonna be showing that null value, right? So I may wanna not only filter the null value out of the worksheet, but I might want to just get it out of the list of the filter as well. So just to make this easier for myself, I'm just gonna remove the filter entirely and start fresh here. So I'll go back to showing the year of my dates, and then you can see I've still got that null value. So what I wanna do is I am going to create a set to be able to get rid of that null value out of that list in the filter. Um, so you might be thinking, what's a set or how is a set gonna help us here? So let's just take a glance at Tableau's order of operations. Um, this diagram is directly from Tableau's website. So you can see here that a dimension filter like our year of order date hits at this part in Tableau's order of operations and one step earlier are sets. So a set would get processed in Tableau before a dimension filter. So what that means is I'm gonna to go to my date field. I'm gonna hit the drop down on that date field in the data pane and create a set. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, I, I think a lot of people what they would do is they would select all and just deselect the null. But my preferred approach is actually to select the null and then exclude, right? So I'll call this date uh, field, no nulls. Uh, my reasoning for that is because then if new dates are showing up, I don't have to come back to the set and add them. I'm just saying only get rid of the null value. So again, I've selected the null and then I've selected the exclude button. So now I have this set, date field, no nulls. I add this set to the filters card and I want you to watch over here the year of date field filter when I drop this. One, two, three, drop. And what do you know? The null value is gone. It's not even an option for my user to be able to select anymore. So whether you're trying to get rid of a null or really any other value that you just don't want the user to see, um, you can use a set to effectively pre-filter your worksheet before it gets to the standard dimension filters so that whatever that value or values are that you want to get rid of, um, your user will never see those. So hopefully uh, this answers your questions. If not, feel free to comment below and we'll look forward to catching you here on another video on the YouTube channel of one number. <laughs> Said that backwards next week. All right, thanks.